Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. And it's going to be a sort of two-part tutorial. First using Serif's new photo product called Affinity Photo, new to the PC. I mean, it's been on the Mac for a while. And their older PC-only photo program, Photo Plus. And I'm going to be looking at the worst named filter which is called the unsharp mask because contrary to the name unsharp what this actually does is help sharpen your image um, so I'm going to start with affinity photo but in both cases I'm going to use a, an image that I got from a royalty free website so I believe both of them came from pixabay.com mainly because this is probably best used on portraits to help bring out the most important item in a portrait which is the eyes but it can be used on all sorts of images um, so I will start with affinity photo and the first thing I will do is I'll just come to the affinity photo help file for the unsharp mask filter and just there's three sliders there's a radius that controls the number of pixels affected around the existing light pixels a smaller radius enhanced smaller scale details factor controls how much contrast is added and threshold controls how much contrast there needs to be between colors before the sharpening effect kicks in I'll come back to affinity photo make sure that the height the layer I want to work on is highlighted there are two ways to open the unsharp mask you can come to layers new live filter and then unsharp mask filter and the other way is via the filter menu which I'll do in a, I'm this way I'm going to do but first of all I want to zoom in to the eyes as this is the area that I want to concentrate on and that should do filter sharpen unsharp mask and then we had the free sliders that I mentioned earlier so if I move the radius slider up a little bit hopefully you can see that it is really sort of going over the top in its sharpening of the eyes let me drop this back down to where it was which I think was around four or five and I'll just nudge it up a couple more to about eight so it's just bringing some sharpness into that image I'll drop the factor down and you can see that sort of knocks back some of that sharpening that I added I'll just bring it slightly up there we go and then the threshold I'll just bring up and it should going by what I've read and seen in, in other videos this will sort of knock back some of the lighter areas like in skin tones um, which should if you not have this quite high you might be able to just nudge up the radius a bit more to help bring some of the sharpness back to the eye area whereas before when I pushed this up quite high it looked quite horrible with the threshold a bit higher I can just push this up just a little bit more and I'll leave it at that point and I'll click apply and I'll press control and O and hopefully that is you can see that that has sharpened the eye well I should have done was to made a duplicate layer and then I could have flipped between the two to show you what it was originally like. I can press Ctrl and Z and then Ctrl and Y just to bring that back. In fact you can see it also in the the round area of the flower here. So if I press Ctrl and Z again, Ctrl and Y. So hopefully you can see that using the unsharp mask will just help bring out a little bit of sharpness 
in an image. So th that is, let's look at it in Affinity Photo f over. I will now go and have a look at Photo Plus. Okay, let's look in at Photo Plus and its use of the unsharp mask. Uh, what I will remember to do this time is duplicate this layer so I can show the difference between the two versions when I've finished. Now this one will probably end up being a bit more noticeable because this image is slightly hazy, slightly more out of focus than the previous one, but let's come up to this look at the eyes and to get the unsharp mask come to effects sharpen unsharp mask and the free slide is a slightly different here because it's um i think it went radius factor threshold in affinity photo but in photo plus it's amount radius threshold so first of all let's move this first slider in the amount move it's quite high and as you can see that has really brought out some of the detail in this image but it's probably a bit too much but this is just for demonstration purposes and the radius has really gone way over the top so I'll drop both of these back down a little bit and we move the threshold up quite high like we did on the previous one which will sort of blur some of the skin tones and then hopefully I can just nudge this up a bit higher sometimes you just have to wait for the program to catch up with some of the alterations you've made so as you can see it's taken a lot long now I've pushed the threshold up quite high it's taken I can start to push these a bit quite a bit higher than I could before. Let's see, her eyebrows there, it's gone a bit went a bit heavy. Let's drop that back a little bit. Get rid of those black lines that were appearing. Let's just try the radius a bit. Let's drop that threshold back slightly. And that bringing back those black lines so I'll try that and I'll click OK I'll zoom out and then if I turn that one off I mean it's probably more noticeable actually around her mouth if I it's brought some of the bit darker around the where her mouth is open and it makes it stand out a little bit more it really is only a subtle sharpening if you use it properly but it can help improve your images if you especially if you do portraits so I'll let you tinker and practice for that and that's this quick look at the unsharp mask in two programs thank you for watching and goodbye